So imagine you've spent hours on your manga and comic masterpiece, and when you're done, there's no one there to read it. So you probably want the world to know about your manga and comic, but time and time again, there's no one to read it. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why no one is reading your manga or comic book. If you don't know me, my name is Vandal. I am a self-published mangaka and author of Note, who helps other manga and comic book artists with their art and writing skills to tell the story of their dreams. So let's get into it. The first thing that we need to understand is who are we writing this story for? Understanding who your target reader is. Your target reader is the person who you want to ideally read your manga or comic. It's important because you want to identify your target reader because you want to know what would make them want to read your story. Is it because they're the kind of person who just likes anime? Do they like cartoons? It might be a little bit too broad. So what we need to do is we need to get specific. Initially, you want to get specific and you want to find your niche. So your niche should be a small group of people who like soda or maybe a different sport. You have to figure out what works for you, but understanding that niche group will allow you to gain popularity that will later allow you to appeal to more readers. Now that doesn't mean once you get popular, you leave those readers that helped you gain that popularity initially. What you want to do is slowly combine the audiences, give your old readers what they like while giving your new readers that new sense of how you've changed and evolved so they can appeal to your new story. With your target reader in mind, now that you have an idea on who you want to create the story for, how are you going to find these people? There are many ways, but like a spy or a titan that is invading the walls, you're going to need to invade this group and gather intel. Okay, spy analogy aside, you need to go in and meet your target readers in different types of places. Maybe you'll go on a Facebook group, maybe a Reddit group, maybe Discord groups. They're all over the place for you to find. But once you know what your target reader looks like, you can go find them. And when you're there, what you want to do is you want to try and talk, engage, build relationships, get to understand these people who are going to read your book. What do they like? What do they don't like? And you're going to form relationships with these people. And I don't mean that kind of relationship, but you understand what their likes are, what are their dislikes, how do they think, and how can you be that person that fills their gap with a story that you've created that no one else has made yet. Now, the problem is no one knows you in these groups. These groups don't know about you, so what you need to do is be a little bit vulnerable and share with them your hopes, your dreams, your fears, parts of your art, about you, everything and anything that you are willing to share. So again, you can really build those relationships. Again, not those relationships, but once you get to talking with your potential readers, you can better understand them and get a clear idea of who they are and they can get a clear idea of who you are and why they need to read what you got to say. So whenever you post, I want you to keep this one thing in mind, even though you'll create all of these connections with people and they'll follow you because you are you because people like people, they might not necessarily follow you because of your work. And that's the thing you need to do with your manga, with your artwork, whatever it is you're choosing to do, and that is to create value. At this point, you should have an idea what are some of the things that are missing in your manga and stories that those people in the group want. And then again, your job is to fill that void with your manga. Listen to what the people need and be the answer for them. Now, initially as creators, we can be a little selfish in the beginning and make stories for ourselves. But what you need to do is keep your target reader in mind because you would definitely read your story because you made it, but you want others to read your story as well. So you got to include things that would make them interested in coming back again to see your work. And how do we get them to come back? we have to create a schedule. That's where our manga story is going to live and die. If you are not consistent, all that work and those relationships that you've built up to this point won't mean a thing because they will be lost because you are not consistent. And you might say, Vandal, manga takes so long to draw. And that is true, it does take time, but there are ways to still stay consistent and keep your readers engaged. Because once you are not consistent, you will lose trust with your reader. And once trust is broken, it's really hard to get back. 
So some things that you can do is give insight into your process, teach them something, something you've learned about through your story and research, comment on your character's emotion in a certain panel. There are so many things that you can do to keep your reader engaged and involved along your process in making your manga. Because at the end of the day, you wanna keep your readers engaged. And I don't want you to worry, a lot of this doesn't happen overnight and it's going to take time. It'll take time to build up on each of these steps honestly, it'll look different for you as it did for me. I've been at this for 10 plus years and I'm always learning, so don't lose heart, just be patient and trust in the process. Okay, so if you've gotten through the first two steps, this last one is where you can really lose everyone, that is your actual story. Now, your story is the real core heart and value we've been talking about. And if people are not reading, it's because they have not gotten the value that you want them to get from it. There are many aspects that you should work on to keep your readers engaged. So one of the biggest parts is the hook. Your hook is not grabbing the reader. The hook is basically the beginning of your book, story, manga, and it's basically there to pull the reader in. The beginning is not pulling them in. I have a video that goes into giving some really good tips on hooking your readers. You can check that out more for details right here. But here I would look and research at other stories that hook readers in the first one to two pages and look at their strengths and why they work so well. A quick look at Chainsaw Man has a strong hook. We see Denji, the main character, with a chainsaw as he is talking to a cute little dog as he is about to fight a grotesque monster. And now, what I want to know about is what's gonna happen. Is he going to fail? What is he gonna do with that chainsaw? How is he gonna use it? I just gotta know, I'm hooked and I wanna know more and I wanna turn the page. Hook the reader so they want to know more about your story. Now, your hook is important, but my favorite thing to talk about on this channel is characters. Your characters aren't fully fleshed out and your reader isn't connecting with them. You need to make them unique. You need to make them stand out in a way that will make them memorable. Maybe they just pick up a cookie in a certain way. Maybe they talk a funny way. Maybe they look really cool. There are many ways to make your characters stand out, but their personality and who they are needs to shine through in every avenue so your reader will really want to identify with this character, empathize with this character. I went into an amazing guide on creating characters and working through their development to the story. You can check that out. You can also check out how to design better characters after you're done watching this video i think they'll be very informative in constructing really strong looking characters and characters with a strong personality now this is the last part and it really has to talk about your story is not standing out the market for manga is oversaturated with way too many shonen stories and other copycats and the like but if you want people to read your manga you need to make it unique don't just make what you've seen Use your life experience, use other experience, combine stories to make something unique. There are many ways to become creative and stand out, but the real reason you haven't done that yet is because you haven't created the manga. I can't read what doesn't exist. Now hurry up and make that manga so I can be one of those readers who's hype as hell to see what you've made. So let's do a quick review. We need to get into these groups and communities of people we want to reach. So you want to get our target reader. We want to create value for them through our manga based on what we've got to know about them and how we can fit into the gaps in their life with our story. Creating a schedule that is consistent and builds trust with our readers will have them coming back for more. And we can do that by creating some form of content that will help keep awareness and engagement that we actually still are creating our project. We can sharpen the knives of our stories and our characters, and that will give us the ability to stand out and will be unmatched. Lastly, make the manga, because if you don't, no one can read it. Now that's all I have for you today. I have a few more tips on getting people to read your manga, but I wanna save that for another video. If you're interested, you know, you can comment down below that you wanna see it, or if you have any ideas on things that you'd like to hear, you can put that in the comment section down below so we can learn about some other tactics that I may have not talked about here. But again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications when you want to hear things that I have to say. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, boy.